Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kindergarten. So, in the last episode, we made it uh, through the massacre, the genocide route. We made it through the genocide route in <laughs> <of> this game. <laughs> and made the teacher miss Applegate or Jiggly Actually, Tits. to be fair, I don't know if the genocide route has happened yet. Okay. Maybe. We're moving on. <laughs> uh, miss Applegate loves us, or loved us, in that previous incarnation of this everlasting hellhole of the Mondays. And, uh, we got this eternal hall pass, because, yay. So, uh, Cass. Hi. You said we were doing a thing. Yep, we are gonna do Bugs' route today, so you'll need the lunch pass. Also, All right. yeah, check your hands, my dud. The lunch lady will get you out of the cafeteria if you give her Monty's glasses, a magnifying glass, or $2. Oh, I didn't even give her the magnifying glass. If you go to the restroom without cigarettes during lunch, the hall monitor will take you to the principal's office. You need to buy three items from Monty before morning time. Jerome will talk to you during morning time if you give him a yo-yo. You need a screwdriver to get the laser pointed from the shelf. Hide the laser in the garbage can and then go to the bathroom to get it. And don't talk to Jerome at recess. Just do as Monty says. Buy the voice recorder before getting sent to the office with Cindy by asking her if, you love, if your love is enough. Get rid of Jerome during morning time by giving him a yo-yo and then giving the teacher his hall pass. Talk to Nugget after Jerome has been suspended. Lily should be eliminated after Bugs and Monty by knocking on the principal's door. And Nugget can only be eliminated at recess and only if Cindy has been eliminated. Yep. Huh. Why? Okay, I'll explain that. If you come up with Cindy's dog, Cindy assumes you're the one who killed him and she kills you. Mm. So that's why you have to get rid of her first. That makes sense. You need to buy cigarettes at the schoolyard. Interesting. Unscrew the air vent in the hallway with a screwdriver to get the tornado fly, and Wizard Worm is in the Nugget Cave next to the skulls. Nugget Cave. Alright, so cave. you need the lunch pass, my bro dude. Okay. And you're gonna need to bring... I don't think we're gonna have to buy anything, but I do think we need at least 310 so that Bug steals from us. Ah, oh, fuck. Money run! Alright, wait, wait. Pause. Go take the flower. I have a hall pass. I know. Go take the flower. Now you can start your day. Immediately sell that lunch pass to Monty. A lunch pass? Look at you, you little teacher's pet. I'll give you three dollars for it. Pleasure doing business with ya. Okay, time to sell this pass. Oh snap, you got that from Jerome, didn't you? Take it off your hands for you, but he's gonna be mad if he finds out. I'll give you five dollars for it. Yeah, so just now, don't talk to Jerome again. Yeah. Skip till the end of the day. Get over here, kid. Oh, rip. You blew it. No way she's gonna partner, put up with another distraction. I'm screwed. Give me my pass back. I sold it. You what? Why did you do that? I gave you the uh, that so you could get back my laser pointer. You'd not sell it. Sorry. Give me all your money. It's only fair. If you don't, I'm gonna get you expelled. Oh no. Okay. I mean, you know, to be fair, seems okay. You might want to restart the room. Yeah. Cause I know how I know a way that Jerome will let us keep the hall pass. If we go get the laser pointer and then come back and sell it? No. No. Go find a partner, do the whole Jerome thing. Okay. If I can get five dollars that easy, then I would like to. You can. Actually, I think there's a way for us to get a monster my card out of this too. Um when he distracts her, actually leave and go to the bathroom, not the janitor's closet. Okay. It's kind of just like a little. You have to say certain things to the janitor to talk to him. All right. And I just, oh, it's super hard to remember exactly what <laughs> what's going on there, boy. Uh. What's in those bags? What's in those bags? What bags? I don't see no bags. Those you, bags. Those bags. Oh, these bags. <laughs> Nothing for you to worry your stupid little head about. Now run along. Uh. <sighs> it's bleeding. He might murder you here. Oh maybe. yes. Uh. The uh. Bleeding. I'm trying to figure out how. 
Say, did you know I'm required by law to stay at least one mob's length away from children at all times? How did that judgment get passed down? It's a long story, but it ends with somebody on the end of a mob. Sounds riveting. It is, but that's a tale for another time. I'm morbidly curious. <laughs> me too. That's what got me into this mess in the first place. Anyway, I don't think it'd be appropriate for me to tell someone of your age that story. But it's okay for me to see a bloody bag in the bin. Right, oh, you sure are, shipper young sport. Here, take this nickel and buy yourself a bar of chocolate. Sure. Nickel won't cut it. Oh, a nickel won't cut it. What do you mean a nickel won't cut it? A nickel's gonna have to cut it, or I'm gonna have to cut you. Chocolate is more expensive than a nickel. Oh, in that case, I let the old lunch lady know to give you a chocolate at a price you would have seen back in my day, before the whole mop incident. How about that? Okay. Good, now skedaddle. All right, well, I fucked up. <laughs> so basically, I didn't do the thing I was trying to do, which is where you tell him that Jerome basically sent you to get the laser pointer, and he gives you a monster mod card, because you're like, eh, I like you. Um, but, if you want, skip. Chocolate's worth a lot. Skip. Like, skip to lunch. Go talk to the lunch lady. Whatever. Um, anything else? Well, the many. Oh, the right, it's your thing. Oh, goodness, okay. <clears throat> well, the menu is kind of restricted right now. What with the new health regulations? I have a chocolate bar, but it's pretty darn expensive. The janitor said I could get it cheaper. Oh, you must be the janitor's new little friend. Yup, he said you were a good kid. I could let you have this chocolate bar for a nickel. Literally goes down from $10 to a fucking nickel. You enjoy that, kiddo. Have a nice day. And now go sell it to That's Monty. 0.5% of the price. Bye, Lily. So what else can you do with a chocolate bar? You can eat it. But this is the best thing. Why would you eat it? A bar of chocolate? How do you manage to get that? It's worth almost its weight in gold. Emphasis on the almost. I'll give you five dollars for that. Okay. Here you go. Now I'll just skip to the end of the day. I mean, we have ten dollars. Yeah, but we have ten dollars and twenty cents. The piggy bank only holds ten dollars. Uh -huh. So, just lost two dollars and fifty-five cents. That's fine. Okay, that was our money day because you know, valuable. So, All right, now take three ten, I guess, and the lunch pass. Let's go. Okay, we've already read this. Yep. Alright, so you're gonna go tattle on him. Yeah, so I know, and then not... Applegate, yeah. not agree to fight him. Yes, I know. He told me that... Yeah. Bug stole my money! Just do the what's in it for me. Yeah, and then, and then I'll say no. I must say, I'm not a fan of my darling students telling me no. I sure hope nothing bad happens to you today. That would be just... Dreadful. Uh, me too. Alright. Um. No, you don't skip till, uh. I wanna, I wanna talk to him though. See I mean, it won't do anything, but sure. What do you want, Dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. No, you don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. Okay. So just walk away. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think you could just skip till next period. I don't need any. I don't need to buy anything. Any, I don't no. need to buy you have what you need. Psst. Hey, kid. I heard about what teacher was trying to do to me. Old Applegate has had it out for me for a while. It's nice to know if somebody's willing to stand up to her. No problem. Yeah, it actually is a problem. She's probably setting something up to get you in trouble as we speak. That's how I got my first two strikes. If she gets me again, I'll be expelled. Would that be so bad? Considering the last kid to be expelled was that missing kid, Billy? Yeah, it would be bad to be expelled. I'll keep that in mind. We should work to get together to get her uh, to get to her before she gets us. All right. Smart move. Take this. If she tries anything funny with you, don't be afraid to use it. A knife? Yeah, it's a knife. Look, something awful is happening at the school. Everyone knows it, but no one talks about it. I'm not about to go down without a fight. Good point. 
We need to find a way to get to the old gal alone. I don't have any. Wit I don't want any witnesses tattling. I have a launch pass. We'll get you, little Miss Teacher. Miss Teacher's pet? Okay, that's gonna make you a whole lot easier. So after morning time is over, you're gonna have to have a very special lunch with Teacher, and just kill her. Pretty much. Just wait until her back is turned to strike. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, you gotta say something here. Which one do you think you have to say? I would assume asking a question. Yeah. We turn her back? Uh, good point. We're gonna need a distraction of some sort. See if Monty has anything to do the job. Will do. Oh, what? fudge and nutters. Hey, Gabe. We don't Gabe. have enough money? It's not money. It's we need to get something, but to get it, we have to... <sighs> Fudge. I'm really sorry. Restart the day. We didn't lose out on much progress. You, you, you talk to Applegate and tell her no? Yeah. Go talk to Nougat. You're a smart kid, right? Say, um, what happened to Billy? What's in those pills? The principal gave you pills? Then just keep going. Alright, now you can skip till morning time. Forgot we needed a stupid pill. <sighs> Bugs will talk to you. Skip this dialogue. Go find a morning buddy, or you'll be an outcast loser like Nugget. Nugget gave me a pill. Oh, dibs. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Don't worry about it. Teacher will ugh, do whatever about it. Now run along and play. You're welcome. All right, now talk to Monty. Ask him about a distraction. Do anything for a distraction? Sorry, I don't have anything like that at the moment, but I'll tell you what, I'm pretty handy with gadgets. If you can find me some sort of device, I can bring it to do what you... Oh, I need to grab the device from over there, the cubby, now that she's drugged up. Okay. Can I just take as many of these as I want? Yes, but they use an action to do so. Okay, so I want to take the Monster Mon card while I'm here. You need an action to take the device. You need an action to, I think... Give it to Monty and then place it. Nah, I, I don't even want to test it. We can do it when we're just like going through getting all the monster run cards. Hey, don't go snooping around and. You know what? I don't really care. Do what you want. Okay. This is Jerome's cubby. There's a strange device in here. I wanna buy something. You mean like this thing? Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It'll cost you a dollar fifty to get this done. You good with that? Yep. Okay then. Just a solder here. Solder here. Rewire the timer to pass through the capacitor. Set the receiver to the correct frequency. More techno babble to make me seem smart, and it's done. What's it do? Here's the remote. All you have to do is press that button and this little doodad you gave me will pop like a firecracker. Cool, thanks. It's only good for one use though, so be careful with it. And I got it. Go talk to Bugs. So you're sure that I'm not gonna be able to just... I, I don't think it's so. It's during lunch that that happens though. What? The teacher thing. Yeah, but you stay here. Yeah, you but... You have it's... lunch with your teacher, you here. Well, did you get something to cause a distraction? Yep. Go ahead and stick it on one of the front tables. You'll be glad you did. So which one? I would guess this one. Okay. Does it matter? I don't think so. Should I place Monty's distraction device under this table? Yes. I guess you can take that card if you want. You got one more action. You gotta wait till lunch. This is Cindy's cubby. There's a monster monk here, a card here. We hate her, so fuck you. 
Okay, kids, that's lunch. Yeah, okay. I have a. I want to have lunch with you. Oh, fiddlesticks! There goes my smoke break. Very well. You can have special lunch with me today. Excellent. The rest of you run along to the cafeteria. Planner update. Kill the teacher. Having special lunch with my favorite student instead of getting a smoke break is one of my favorite things about teaching. Here's a McGlob silly meal. Knock yourself out. Thanks. Go on, have a bite. It's delicious and possibly nutritious. Oh my, my, my. What in the dickens was that? Did it come from in here? <clears throat> ah! I don't know how to scream. You little bastard! I'm gonna... Oh dear. You... I heard her scream, so it's done, right? Well, I can't believe you actually did it. Take the knife out of her. It's got her fingerprints all over it. She's probably got a phone on her, too. I think I'll take that. That's the bell. Let's get out of here. Recess is about to start, and I don't want anyone to notice we're missing lunch. Come see me, re me at recess, and I'll help you hide that knife. <gasps> huh. You fucked up? We needed to go wash up? What's up? So we're back, okay. guys, and we have a nugget this time. Alright, so I forgot that we needed this to get rid of the knife. Go talk to Bugs. Okay. Okay, it's clear someone knows that the teacher is missing. Otherwise, that old lunatic wouldn't be watching us while we're out here. We need to hide that knife before we go back inside. The only place I'm seeing is that whole nugget, Doug. Only problem is that nugget can be territorial, not exactly friend, and we're not exactly friends. Maybe we could convince him to bury it for us? I'll try. Hey, nugget. I have a nugget. We are gonna be best friends. Behold, the nugget cave! It is very deep and very dark. What secrets does it hold you want to bring out? Can I hide something in the nugget? You wish to make a contribution to the Nugget Cave? What do you wish to contribute? A knife. Oh my. This knife has known bad things. Nugget can tell. Nugget does not want it in the Nugget Cave. But we're friends, remember? You have a nugget of friendship? Very well. You may add the knife of evil to the Nugget Cave. Thanks. Now be gone. Nugget has matters to attend to with this unhealthy addition to the cave sure bye so yeah i forgot that we need a nugget to make him realize we're friends like fucking asshole doesn't even remember that doesn't even know that we just fucking took it out of his cubby during morning time now you uh talk to bugs i'm enjoying this you're enjoying walking into invisible walls All yes right. imagine you're just walking boom it's like sliding glass without the glass well, did you get rid of it? It's gone. Hot damn, I can't believe we're about to get away with this. Just keep your cool when we go back inside. Literally, kindergartners out. are just showing you how to get away with murder. I am covered in blood. Yeah, you are. What about a phone? Don't you worry about that. Just keep your eyes open and be ready when the time is right. That it? Hey, talk to Jerome? No. I think you, um, I think you could just skip if you want. Are you sure? Yeah. You're not screwing me? Uh, I do not believe so. Okay, you rotten kids. That's the bell. Get your worthless hides back inside. Children, I have some bad news. If you look to your right, you'll see your formerly unstabbed teacher. God, is there murder on the list? It's probably the creepy janitor. We've already cleared the janitor. He was in the cafeteria selling biscuit balls when her death occurred. She had it coming to her. What are you gonna do about it, Dad? First Billy, now this? We're not safe at this school. This is totally gonna tank my sales for the rest of the week. Enough! Nugget likes the way she smells now. Shut up, weirdo. Take one of your pills or something. 
Anyway, I need to search all of you to make sure you aren't carrying anything that could have been used to kill your teacher. We'll start with you, the one covered in blood. Empty your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like you have anything on you. Okay, let's go ahead and search Bug's Nest. Next. Dropped it in my pocket. Hmm, doesn't look like you have anything incriminating on you either. Damn. Now I owe the lunch weight 20 bucks. Well, okay, well, it looks like no one here is responsible for killing the teacher. That being said, I'm sending you all home because, well, your teacher is dead. That's why you don't need something for show and tell. There is no show and tell. Okay. So we just got the phone then. Well, we did it. We got away with murder. Trust me when I say this was for the best. I hope so. You still have the phone? I handed it off to you while I was walking up to that to get searched. Pretty sneaky, huh? Yeah, it was. You know what? Why don't we keep it? A little token of, appreci of my appreciation. Maybe you can use it to search for something on another day. Cool, thanks. It does not say search there. Okay. This was fun. Maybe we can do it again someday. I'll see you around, kid. Yeah, see you. Alright, so we did Bugs' route. We got the teacher's phone. Mm -hmm. We got the Super Bully achievement, which the audience cannot see. Rip. You will be missed. Alrighty! So, I think in the next episode, we'll probably have to do Monty's route, because Monty's up next. Alright guys, we'll see you guys then.